let's look at this. You look at politicians, you look at scientists, you look at journalists, overwhelmingly journalists, um, you look at doctors, look at, look at all these people that are actually the pillars of the system and the sources and vehicles for information which um, is given to the public to give the public their sense of perception on everything. Um, these people are born to parents who, not in every case, but in uh, most cases, will pass on, not through malevolence most of the time at all, but because they have been programmed to believe that what they believe is the right thing and therefore they want their children to believe what they think is the right thing to believe and perceive. So that programming starts at a very early age. Then very quickly and even quicker, more, more and more with each generation, they go to school and suddenly there's some authority figure standing in front of them telling them what's right and wrong and, and what they should believe and not believe, what's good and bad and, and all that. And they are um, doing that on the basis of what the system tells them they're going to do as teachers if they're going to keep their job as a teacher. They then start passing exams, and the exams um, are tests to see if you're telling the system what it wants to hear, because you have to tell the exam paper what you've been told is real if you're going to pass. Um, you then, if you do it well, you go on to college, university, and you go through more exams where you tell the system what it wants to hear to get a good degree. Um, you fr from this point, the uh, future doctors, journalists, politicians, scientists, etc., etc., go out into the world after that, um, that all their formative years of the system telling them what the sense of reality and perception should be. So by the time they go on to become journalists, they are already massively programmed, unless they're free thinkers and they're few, in the system's version of everything. Then, um, and we've all worked in uh, newsrooms or, you know, like you know, me, you and others have, have worked in newsrooms. And look, look at a journalist day. If you um, go into a, a newspaper newsroom or a television newsroom, what's happening is all day information is coming through from various sources um, you've got the um, the running news uh, programs on the uh, the television in the newsroom. And what you're um, getting all day, every day from these news sources is the official version of everything. You talk then to a scientist or you talk to a, a, a doctor or a politician about a story, and they are also giving you the official version of everything for the same reason that you are absorbing the official version of everything. You've all been through the same system. Add to that that if scientists and doctors and, and politicians and journalists do not conform to those norms and encompass those norms and accept those norms to be real, their time in their job will be very uh, short. By the time then that you are a leading news anchor or a leading uh, uh, print journalist, um, you um, have gone through a lifetime of programming. And part of that programming is to um, go to official dum for your um, foundation sources of information for everything. And what happens, you, you, I see it all the time, is... Um, the official story will be um, delivered, whether it's in the immediate aftermath of Paris or whatever. And the parrots and the repeaters in the mainstream media will then repeat that to the public as if it is true. 